Hello, my name is Hannes Elmeyer, and in this video I want to show you how we make a living room cabinet uh, with several doors and uh, we will make this cabinet with uh, Cabinet Maker Elements Cat for Factorworks. I inserted the default cabinet and uh, now I make uh, some duplicates with the duplication uh, command from Factorworks. Now I select a cabinet and I can use um, the feature to add a cabinet directly through a context command. And uh, this command uh, generates a cabinet above and now I change the width of this new generated cabinet and uh, now we see that uh, the width of this cabinet is the same width as the four cabinets below. I want to see the edges of the cabinet and uh, now I go to Elements Cat and here I have a features to create a series cabinet. This means that uh, cabinets that are positioned side by side can be melted to one cabinet. That means that uh, sides or other panels are melted and belong together afterwards. Okay, now I go in the info palette to the segment uh, below and uh, here I can change for example the handles and I make the handles position in the uh, middle and uh, now I go to the left cabinet and uh, I go to uh, the segment and here I can assign for example a drawer. This is the interesting part because within this complete cabinet where we have melted sides as you see the left side is completely going through that means this is one side for the whole height of the cabinet while we have inside the cabinet uh, individual cabinets that we can activate and uh, change uh, the values and modificate it however we like in the fields of the cabinet I can uh, calculate and uh, here I change the height and uh, now I want to assign shelves here and uh, apart from the intermediate button I assigned shelves now. Here you see that uh, it's very easy to make changes because I don't need a dialog that uh, contains the complete cabinet with all four cabinets and all segments. I can uh, activate just a single cabinet and as soon as the height is correct we see now that the sides are melted again. This is the key feature of our serious cabinet feature. In the resource browser I can now uh, scroll and assign um, a texture and because all cabinets are activated now I can activate uh, them and uh, all cabinets will get the material I double clicked. This causes now that uh, in the info palette of uh, Factorworks, well this can last some seconds, but now all cabinets get this assignment and I have to actualize sometimes the cabinet. Um, this is a menu command and I can uh, actualize it within the info palette or through a menu command. But in the end I get the actualized cabinet with the textures and uh, each cabinet can be modified nonetheless separately. 
now I go to the front tab and uh, here I can make for example uh, changes uh, but this is okay for now because I can change if they are inside the, the fronts or between the sides or they uh, or they are not. Now I uh, go to the dialog in order to change the textures of the panels. Finally we make these changes through classes. Each panel of a cabinet had a, has a specific class so in the background all the Factorworks classes are changed. But through a dialog of course this is much more comfortable. Now I go there and I change the front to a blind instead of a door. This means um, this is a kind of trick because uh, all fronts with the same class of one or a hundred cabinets are changed if I change the class but I can generate a new class that does the same as a door means blind has new classes but the behavior is the same as a door. <coughs> Here we see now we assigned a Chrome material and uh, this is very simple now. And uh, now I make an activation again and I want to change uh, the front back to front. So I can easily change um, the texture through um, yes, a change of the front. Furthermore, of course, I can change the attribute class and uh, reassign completely individual different textures or classes. In the second line I have the field attribute class. But now I want to assign um, uh, a plint and uh, I can assign the, a going through plint for the whole cabinet where I have uh, several options for plints. I can for example um, define uh, symbols as a, a plint. For example I can assign wheels and I have a folder but this um, assignment we uh, discuss in another video. Uh, but here we stay uh, in the main goal from our uh, living ro uh, room cabinet where I can make serious cabinets. Yes, and uh, we see now that this is very quickly and simple to generate such uh, cabinets because everything stays in spite of the serious cabinet completely parametric. Now I want to assign um, a, a working plate or a top panel and uh, this panel is uh, generated now and sometimes I have to uh, be patient to let Factorworks uh, update the scene but now we get um, as well a um, top panel and uh, yes as we see we have uh, all options to assign shelves and we are we stay completely individual with uh, this um, series cabinet tool. Okay, we just wait a few seconds uh, until the uh, shelves are generated and uh, here we go. Please consider that all we are constructing here has a, in the background a panel list. We have uh, the option to make CNC programs with individual drilling files and uh, Elements CAD is uh, in the meantime developed since uh, 20 years so we have uh, a huge knowledge of um, develop developing uh, parametric objects. 
uh, we are developing our uh, tools based on Python and this is a very uh, powerful programming language. We are very, very efficient and um, you see the results. Uh, we have all the options and uh, apart from this what we here see we have factors 2017 that doesn't mean that uh, elements is from 2017 because we support as well new versions like elements 22 for factorworks 2017 that means you uh, needn't always um, actualize your factorworks license at once if you want to uh, use the latest elements features so don't worry we have uh, integrated an update feature so you always have the latest uh, features of elements cap so i hope you enjoyed the video and i look forward uh, to uh, um, see you as soon as possible ciao